go to student link look for a program check all the requirements the deadline everything apply then your school will send you the details to do the payment they are going to give you the amount it's not your tuition fee it will be your always said that the best and easiest ways to immigrate abroad is using the study pathway so for those of us who wants to migrate abroad and uh, it's getting complicated but they have the money so this video is for people who want to migrate abroad within 90 days i hardly do this but this is something i'm telling you within 90 days and they equally have money to process their documents because you are going to understand why they need money now there is a country in europe i'm going to be talking about this country i will tell you how you can use the study pathway and move to this country within three months the reason is because there is no visa interview like there is no interview at any embassy but i'm going to explain the process to you now the study pathway is usually the easiest ways to migrate abroad and if you want to study in europe you have the money and you do not have the means let's say maybe you have been getting multiple rejections then this is a video for you to watch my name is milton Fonqua. thank you so much for joining thank you for contributing we are grateful please click the like button and also subscribe below so that we can push this uh, followers to so 45,000. So if you want to move to this country in the European Union called the Netherlands or if you want to go to the Netherlands through the study pathway first I will advise you that you should be ready financially. Universities or schools in the Netherlands cost between 7,000 euros to like 12,000 euros. I'm using euros because almost everybody knows that this is the money used. In the Netherlands you mo you shouldn't bother about the Dutch language. If you want to study, you just need to check the universities. I'm going to tell you. But make sure, as an international student, you have what we call IELTS. Yeah, you may be applying and thinking that, okay, since I'm from Nigeria, uh, maybe Ghana, mm, I studied in English, they are going to accept English proficiency. They will not. If you want to study in the Netherlands, make sure you get your IELTS ready. For those of you who already have it, go to this website. They call it, I'm looking at my Jota here because I don't want to make any mistakes. I have done the research for you. So you should do it. This process, I know someone in the Netherlands who did this process. And someone recently booked an appointment with me when we were talking on the call. The thing is that this guy is just lucky. He applied for a visa, Canada study visa. He is a student. All right. I know him very well. He will watch this video. And it's three months, no response from the Canada, from IRCC. Now he applied to uh, the Netherlands. It took a few weeks. He got the admission. So he was calling me to inform me of this same process I'm going to tell you right now. So what you need to do is to, first of all, go to this website called Study Link. It is spelled S T U D I E, then link L I N K. Type that website. That website is the, um, let me say, the registration and the application portal for programs in Dutch or at Dutch higher uh, education institutions, all right? So you should go to that website, create an account on the website, then you check the programs available. Make sure you read it well, at least you can read. So read it well. When you find a program in any university, check the tuition fee, check the requirements, check the last date to apply. Then if you think that this is something you can meet, why not you launch your application? Like I said, if you have an admission to study in the Netherlands, there is no visa interview. All you need to be ready is to pay part of that deposit of your tuition deposit and equally more money. Now, what I'm trying to say is when you apply to this university in the Netherlands, if they give you admissions, you are going to find tuition fee from 7,000 to like 12,000 euros. If they give you admissions, they are going to give you a total amount of money, a particular amount, and give you an account or tell you an account to deposit that money inside. The school is going to give you. If they don't give you, ask the school. They will give you an account to put that amount of money inside. Sometimes some schools will ask 15,000 euros, some will ask 18,000 euros, some will ask 20,000 euros. I know someone who put 21,000 euros and this guy, he told me that his own was around close to like 18,000 euros. Now, when you put this money in that account, you send the details to the school, the school is going to tell you what to do next.
Now, remember, sometimes you may have, uh, the schools may have scholarship, but a lot of people, because of uh, the tuition fee, which is very expensive, they are also hoping on the scholarship. So you shouldn't rely on scholarships. But again, it is something you can look up to. It is very easy to carry on. If your school tells you this process, just know that your school is going to be the one to follow up your documentation. They are going to give you some certain documents to sign and they will, when they give you those documents to sign, they will then send you a website or they might do the application on your behalf, then just tell you to wait for a response. Now, I want to tell you that the school will apply for you. Sometimes they will apply for the visa. Like I said, letter is on. Or once the school have done the application, once the school have done the application for you, they will now definitely tell you to wait for an email. Sometimes you can do the application yourself. All right. But remember, they will always have all those details. If they don't send it to you, just know that there is a website. They call it the Immigration and Naturalization Service for Residence Permit for Netherlands. They call them IND. This IND, this IND, document will come to you after the application is completed either you did it or the school did it the IND is going to come to you as soon as they send you this IND it can take two months if the school is the one to do the application it's going to take some time and uh, as soon as the embassy reaches out to you they will give you a letter your school will give you a document to carry to the embassy I hope you understand when this document comes to you you will now take it to the nearest embassy where you are located for nigerians cameroonians and other nationalities the dutch embassy is not found in nigeria it is only found in ghana and there is another one in kutunu something like that yes so please put all of this into consideration now we are going to the embassy with the uh the ind document the confirmation document that is their visa confirmation they are sending you that document because you they want you to bring your passport i hope you understand so basically this is the process go to student link look for a program check all the requirements the deadline everything apply then your school will send you the details to do the payment they are going to give you the amount it's not your tuition fee it will be your tuition fee and living cost because they don't want a situation when you move into the netherlands and you are stranded or maybe you don't have money no they don't want that they always make sure that you should be coming before coming you should come with money that has that you are going to take care of your upkeeps that's why they are giving you an account to put the money inside you cannot escape this that's why at the beginning i said you need to have money then when you go to ghana now they will stamp your passport they are stamping your passport now or definitely they will give you the residence permit whichsoever one but just know that immediately your ind is out it can take at least three weeks to one month so now you pack your bags and you move this is how the process to study in the netherlands is and remember there are a lot of schools in the netherlands you have to choose your own and for those of you who want to look for schools i think uh, a school like international oxford college can offer some programs to some international students so it's just your position now to check there are a lot of universities in the netherlands all right so i don't want to mention them here but in case i find it deep fit i'm going to make another video on some universities you can check but you can check out this school and always remember that you have to start from study link i already gave you the spelling and then when your school does the application you have to pay the money first then your school will carry on every other process in case you are the one applying for the visa then not your visa anyways your residence permit then you should be prepared in order to go to ghana or kutunu you are the one to decide or your school will decide anyways they may ask you for all this information and you give them but just have the money because like i said you need at least at least if it's too small you need at least seven thousand euros for tuition fee to around twelve thousand euros that's not the money you are sending to that account because they will add living costs that's why i said they can ask you twenty thousand euros or even more it depends on where you are going to i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget that another video is going to drop on requirements that you need to submit your or oh, let me say the requirements that you need to study in the netherlands your visa application fee all the fees and other required documents that you need that may help you in your application process remember there is no dutch embassy in nigeria only in ghana and kutunu so if you intend to send your wife or husband to study in canada this is a secret i want to reveal to you a lot of people have been asking me this and it's better i come in here if you want to sponsor your wife in Canada to study, I don't want to talk about kids now. I want to talk about your wife. Make sure as the husband, you are the sponsor. 
Yes, you can get your father, your wife's father, your wife's mother, your wife's brother or sister can still step in in this case. But in as much as your wife is married to you, the best person to do the sponsorship is you, the husband. Or if you are the one, or if it's your husband going to study in Canada and you guys are at the point of applying for the visa, the best person to do the sponsorship, like to prove that who is going to stand in for proof of funds, the proof of funds details should come from the wife or the husband or vice versa, depending on the case, you understand. The reason is because this is common sense. Remember, sometimes visas are not rejected because of uh, negligence. It's because of common sense. Now, let's look at it this way. Remember, when you want to study in Canada, your father, your mother, your brother or sister, these are the best people or you yourself or your husband or wife can sponsor you. Now, let's take, for example, you are already married. Remember, you are telling the Canadian government that you have enough money to study. This is the first part you need to consider, right? Excellent. Now, you are telling them that you are married because definitely you are going to show your, birth, your, your, your marriage certificate. So why are you married and you, it's your father who wants to sponsor you? The visa officer will first of all ask this question, okay? Even if they don't ask the question, even if they don't reject the visa, but trust me, they are going to ask this question in their brain. Why are you married and your husband is not sponsoring you and you claim that you have enough money? They are going to look at this. Trust me, these people are psychologists. Yeah, they are psychologists. They are going to ask this question and maybe look at other requirements. And if you are not very careful, you may not get the visa. So your husband should be the best person to do your sponsorship for Canada. Or your wife should be the best person to sponsor you if you guys are legally married and you are going to show evidence of that remember when you are married it's not just the marriage certificate you have to present marital pictures court wedding traditional wedding all right where are the pictures attach them they are very important they can help you to get the visa now like i said you have to tell the canadian government that or the visa officer that you have enough money to sponsor yourself in Canada and in this case your parents your brother your father or sister they are not the best people your visa can still be granted but let's look at logic here logically you are already married remember these people when you are already married they are looking at your family your wife is now your responsibility your husband is your responsibility anything you guys own is under you guys so they don't look at maybe they don't consider external family members again when somebody is your wife when it's your wife you take care of your wife so please always put this into consideration and again the, the worst thing you should even do again is you should try to show that your own bank statement let's assume that maybe you get your parents to sponsor you when you are already married and again your own bank statement or your husband's bank statement or your wife bank statement is showing smaller amounts of money compared to your parents bank statement or your father's or brother or sister it will say a lot of things. They will just say that this couple, they don't have a lot of money. That's why they are bringing their, in their, their mother or maybe their father or uh, to sponsor them. But again, it is still good because according to the Canada officials, your father, your mother, your brother or sisters are the best people or yourself to sponsor you or your husband or wife. But look at this from a clear angle. It's always good to be the sponsor if you are the wife or the husband of your spouse. You understand? So this is just a little trick I want to share with you. It may work for everybody, but looking at it logically, you are not financially stable. That is why these people want to sponsor you. So guys, you have to put this into consideration and be tactical. Don't go for visa application. They don't use emotions here. They are looking at logic and what they need for approval. I hope you understand. Till we meet.